Hi there, this is Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials at darrenoneill.eu. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install VirtualBox Guest Editions on CentOS 8. So I've had a couple of requests to show how to make CentOS 8 full screen after you've installed in VirtualBox. Um, it's pretty much a you look here if you extend it. The, the screen doesn't, doesn't extend um, with you. So to get to that point, you need to have VirtualBox Guest Editions installed. Now, I've had a couple of issues trying to get this installed in the last few hours in that um, my VirtualBox software that I had installed wasn't actually up to date. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step through the commands that you need to get this installed. And what I'll do is I'll loop back. So if you're still having issues, I'll show you what I did to get past these issues. So pretty much I was following all the guides online. I followed multiple different guides. And no matter what happened, I couldn't get VirtualBox installed, uh, guest editions installed. And to get guest editions installed, I actually had to update my VirtualBox um, software and then install guest editions. So if you have a new version of VirtualBox, most likely you'll be fine. But if you get an issue at the end of this tutorial, I'll show um, also the step that I did to correct that. Okay, so pretty much to get started here, and you can see I'm actually being prompted. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to update the, uh, for good practice, I'm actually just going to update the OS. So I'm going to run sudo yum install Say sudo yum update. I'm just going to install the entire um, updates that are available for, for the OS, and there will be a lot of them here because this this is a new this is a new version. So what I'll do is I'll kick this off and I'll stop the video, and, and we we can catch up uh, when this is done. So you can see here, yes, yeah, 600 megs. So I'm going to press yes on this, and I'll just let that uh, let that kick off now. Okay, so my machine is is finally updated here. So um. What we're going to run now is we're going to run a command to install the relevant software we need. So I actually have this on, on, on the history here. So I'm going to run sudo yum install. We're going to install tar, bzip2, kernel devil, kernel headers, uh, perl, tcc, make, and uh, flutils. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press return. I'll leave this command just where you can copy and paste it. So I'm going to press enter on this, and hopefully this will go off and get the relevant packages, and I'll click yes to install. Okay, so let me uh, pause the video while, while this is now installing. Okay, great. So we can see the relevant packages have been installed. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to reboot now VirtualBox. I'm going to type in sudo reboot to, um, oh, let me correct that typo. And that will now reboot the system. So again, I'll just pause the video here while this is rebooting. Okay, good. So um, my machine's back here. Let me just log in. Let's just take a second here now for it to log in first. Okay, so um, this looks good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Devices. I'm going to click Insert Guest Editions CD Image. So this will insert the, the Guest Edition software into uh, the CentOS machine. And I'm going to click Yes, I want to run it, which will now kick off this. Okay, I've been asked for my password, so pop in your password and then click Authenticate. And this will just take a second here, so let me just pause um, while this is installing. Okay, so this looks like we're good here. So we're saying press return to close this window, which I'll do. Now I may need to reboot here. Let me just resize it. Yeah, so it looks like it hasn't fully taken effect yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to reboot, reboot the system. So I'm going to run sudo reboot again. And I'll just type in my password here. Okay, and the machine is rebooting. So let me just pause one last time while, while this is rebooting. Okay, so we're back here. So let me just log in. And we will log in to the, into the VM. It might just take a second. So let me pause this here while this is logging in. Okay, and it looks like it works. So let's make our, uh, our screen, Mac screen. And you can see it works. You can now use the clipboard um, to move in between, copy stuff to your host OS and back into your guest OS. Now, as I said at the start of the video, I've been playing around with this for a few hours and it took me so long to get to this point. And the reason was um, my um, my VirtualBox uh, software was out of date. So, so if you did happen to get a failure at the very last step, what you need to do is you need to open up a browser, go to VirtualBox, Download the Windows host. So let me let me just click here and show you what, what I did. Let me just close this really quick um, so so we're ready so I can show you what I did. Okay, so let me just um, power this off. Kill it. Power off the machine. 
and I'll close. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now this will look slightly different because I've already updated it, but just so download it, open it. Now, if you see repair, that means you have the latest version. Just drop a comment below if you don't if it doesn't work for you. But if you get an option to install without um, repairing, do the install and then try the installation process again, just the last bit, by mounting the virtual box disk in, and then it should run. Again, if it doesn't drop a comment below, and if I can help, I certainly will. Um, hopefully this was useful. Um, and if you did encounter any issues, just comment below. Happy to help. And hopefully that gets some of you guys sorted. Thanks. Bye.